Hey world, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, all that good stuff. Today's a mukbang. Yeah, I got my food. I kind of don't want this touching my bed, you know, Corona ain't about that life, so. Here we go. Here we go. Food. I have some Shirku Japan. If you know about Shirku Japan, you know that they be lit. They be my sauce. Oh yeah. This look bomb. Um, so about my drink. My drink wasn't what really what I wanted. I mean, I got some tea or whatever. I um I drink it like this. You know what I'm saying? So that's my drink. I wanted some wine. Was not able to get my wine today, but it's cool. It's cool, little replacement. I mean, not the same, but it's about to be the same. Anyways, I really don't know what I want to talk about. But I feel like I haven't put out a video in forever and I miss making video. I miss talking to you guys, so. I can't see it, but I got chicken and shrimp. You know, like, look good, don't it? But yeah, I don't know. I, like I said, I don't really know what I want to talk about. Um, snap, y'all. Before we, I was supposed to be eating, I was supposed to be saying my prayers. All right, so let's say grace. Already done ate it, but let's say I ate a little bit of it. But let's say grace. Thank you, Jesus, for my food and me eat. All right. Y'all, today is going to be a prayer video because I need some prayer. I don't know what's been going on for a couple of months. I have been going out like every weekend. And when I say every weekend, I mean every weekend. Like all of my Fridays has been like I've been doing something. And that's not... That's a, actually a really good thing because, you know, like, I don't know, like, I, I like to have, like, I like to be booked and busy. So, the fact that my, my Fridays have been, like, booked and stuff and I've been out and stuff, I've been, like, I mean, for a couple months, I've been, like, okay, okay, get me, get to me, get to me, I'm lit. Come over here, yes, I'm hype, you want to party with me, come party with me. At the same time, don't come too close, chill out, chill out, you feel me? But at the same time come party with me but at the same time don't come party with me because corona you know what i'm saying chill but we lit we lit but anyways non though um i've been going out every weekend and to be honest lately i feel like i've been have you ever felt like you know what you're doing but like then once once you get to a certain point you feel blind and you forget like what you've been doing but you can remember all at the same time i know it sounds contradicting and all but just think about it you know what you're doing, you know what you're doing, you remember it, but you don't remember. And you just be like, dang, like, I can remember, but I really don't remember. It's like a, I remember, but I don't. Like, what's going on? Like, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, like, I don't know. And I just, and that's how I feel. I feel like. It's, I feel like I know what I've been doing. I, of course I know because I was there. But I feel like like I need some me time. Like I'm going out too much. Like, And all my friends, my friends know this too. She, she be like, oh, well, I know you be wanting to stay in the house and stuff. But you just let me know if you want to go. And then I always end up going. Oh my goodness, y'all. Last night, last night, I went to, no, yesterday, as I got off work, I went to sleep all day. Then I woke up and then I ate dinner. And then I went right, I, I showered, brushed my teeth, everything, you know, all my little nightly routine stuff. And then I went right back to sleep. And I stayed asleep through the whole night. I usually never stay asleep 
through the whole night. I usually wake up around like 3, 4, 2 o'clock in the morning or something. But last night, I stayed asleep the whole night. I was like exhausted. I was exhausted. I needed rest. My body needed sleep. I'm, I And today I felt good. Today, all day, I felt good, you know. I've been calling people just to check up on them. And I always do that. I always call people to check up on Always call people just to check up on them and stuff. But I haven't done it in a while and stuff like that, you know. But I just be wanting to call people just to tell them I love them. Do y'all be doing that? Do y'all be calling people just to tell them like, like y'all love them and stuff? Do y'all be calling people just to say, oh, well, you was on my mind, just... Wanted to check up on you, wanted to make sure you was good. I'm that type of person. Like, I be thinking about you. Even when you feel like nobody's not thinking about you and I know you, I be thinking about you. Even if I don't hit you up, I be thinking about you. And then I will hit you up in like a couple of days from now. I be thinking about you. Like, real life, you be on my mind. And if I don't have your number, just still know I be thinking about you. Like... You're in here. We've we've shared um, memories together. I remember you, and and I just be wanting to check up on you. Yes, I am very loving. I'm very loving, so I be wanting to just tell people I love them, even though I really don't like being in a lot of people's face. But I just some I just I just be needing to let people know that you know I love you. Like I I love you. Like you know like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it be like that. This food is good. But anyways, yeah, whatever. That's why, um... I've actually never really been in a relationship, but... If I were to ever get into a relationship, I mean, I mean, I be talking to people sometimes and stuff, but like, I just feel like all I be asking is for people attention and time. You know what I'm saying? Like, some people are the type of people that you have to talk to them every single day. And if you don't, it's just like, it's over. Like, I, like, what am I doing talking to you? Are oh, we supposed to be talking, but you don't want to talk every single day? Yeah, it's over. Me, I'm not like that. If I know that you're busy and I know that you have like a busy schedule or something like that, we don't even have to talk every day. But for you, you could just hit me up, like send me a text, or like you could just call me. Even if you can't stay on the phone long, it's, it can be a quick second. Like me and my cousin did, my, my cousin just did that today. I called her, then it took a couple hours and she called me back. She was like, I'm over at my friend house. I just wanted to call you, check on you, make sure you was good and stuff. I was like, yeah, I'm good. She was like, all right, cool, goodbye. And I was like, goodbye. And it was only for like two seconds, two minutes. It so, uh, wasn't even two minutes, really. It was really like one one minute, something like that, because we didn't really say much. Everything I just said is exactly what was said on the phone. And so it was just like a, my fam can do that, but somebody I'm talking to can't, gotta go, gotta go. And that's just the type of person I am. Like, I will, I will be quick to cut somebody off. And then it hurt my feelings, but then I'll get over it because I know, like, I stay cutting people off anyway. I use my life. <laughs> Who has a life of cutting people off? If you do, comment down below. Because we're in the same boat. Y'all, this food is so good. Y'all, okay, so really, actually today I wanted, um, I wanted a salad with some fried rice i want a salad with some shrimp and fried rice and then um i wanted like chicken pasta or something like chicken and shrimp pasta but everyone knows like you want to order that stuff off like um uber eats or something like that hella expensive okay that was going to be hella expensive so i was like where can i get Fried rice, shrimp, and chicken. All in one thing. Shrimp Cool Japan. $13, I think. Or less. I think it was $13 to the delivery fee. If there was no delivery fee, it'd probably be like $10. Should have ordered me something to drink with it, but 
it's all good I actually wanted um to get like sweet tea and lemonade mix uh half and half half and half <laughs> Half and half. I actually wanted to get half and half, but they wouldn't let me. Like, on the app, I think because it's Corona going around, and that's like a... They got to actually make that drink and then put the lid on it and stuff like that. They don't do it, like, for, like, DoorDash and stuff. And that's cool or whatever. Mmm. This is supposed to be a prayer video. I'm supposed to be praying. I'm supposed to be praying for us. Heal the world. Probably be praying for us to heal the world. Could y'all just ever go through some things and you just need prayer? We need prayer. I need prayer. <laughs> I know everybody is out here trying their best. Everybody. Everybody is out here trying to do something. Y'all trying to come up. Everybody on different levels and stuff, but... But you're getting there. Everybody's working hard, you're getting there. You're going to get there even if you're not there yet. Even if it seems like it's too far away. Even if it seems like you can't make it in a long time, you're going to get there. You're going to get there. And me too. Me too. Sometimes I feel like, you know, sometimes I feel like it's a lot. But it's cool, you know what I'm saying? Like, it is a lot. It's a lot because you're almost there. You're almost to where you want to be. And as, as, as when you get closer to where you want to be or whatever, things start to get rough. Real rough. Because before the rainbow, there has to be a storm. There has to be a storm. Like, I don't know why. That's just the way life sets stuff up. There just has to be a storm before there's a rainbow. And really, to be honest, I'm like, okay, but I'm ready for the storm to be over. Now, me... <laughs> I'm nowhere close to where I want to be. I mean, I don't know that, though. You know, I don't know what the future has in store for me. I don't know how close I am to my dreams. I don't know when everything for me is going to start popping off and stuff like that. I, I don't know. But I know for other people, you know, I, I see them doing, like, coming up. I see them getting on levels to where they want to be and stuff and things that they've been waiting for have been happening for them. And I just want to congratulate them. I'm so happy for them and stuff like that. Yeah. Because, like I said, everybody out here is trying. Everybody out here is trying. And everyone is going to get to where they need to be as long as you are trying. So, I want to congratulate them. And as far as me, I want to congratulate me too. Because, baby, even though it seemed like I'm blind and I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm doing something. I don't know what this means, but I'm doing something. I mean... <laughs> I'm out here living my life, I'm having fun, but it's it's just too much. Like, I feel like this life stuff is just too much. Like, you ever just feel like life stuff is just too much? That's why we're going to pray. You know, you ever just get tired of being a human? I be like, let me be a window. Windows see everything. They see everything, they hear everything. They get cleaned. Let me be a window. Let me be a flat screen TV. You know everybody likes plasmas. On the big flat tin flat screen TV and stuff. Let me be a book. I'd rather be a book than a human. You feel me? Like I'd rather be a computer. Actually, I'd really rather be a computer than a book. Have y'all ever seen, what's that show? What's that movie with that girl? And she was like a human. Then she went through all these stages and then ended up a computer. That was a lit movie. It just, it just, the fact that she became a computer at the end kind of threw me off, whatever. Threw me left. But, but that was my movie. And you know, I can't even think of the name of it. But if you know the name of it, Lucy. Dang, that fast. I got it. Lucy. Lucy, she was just this random old, you know, innocent person. Ain't know what was going on in that dude life. It had nothing to do with that dude, but they got her. And when they took her in, put some them little blue things in her, 
and she start acting crazy. But she became, she became lit. She became lit. She started using every, everything in her mind. You know, they only say, we only use like 10% of our brains and stuff like that. She was using like up to a hundred of that, of that, like up a hundred, up to a hundred percent of whatever was in her brain. I'm like, baby, let me be you. I'm like, let that movie be me. Let that be real life for me. Without the blue things getting put in my body. Because I wouldn't mind. No, it really um is like like don't you know how when you having conversations with somebody and then somebody asks you what superhero or no what superpower would you want to have? I would totally like to have like um the mind reading superpower. Because it just saves a whole bunch of time. I mean, yeah, other superpowers are like bomb. Like the fact, like if you would like the stretchy elastic girl or elastic man or whatever, can stretch, cut off the light. If you wanted to like be able to shrink stuff or make things big, you could do that. Shrink, shrink, be able to shrink somebody if you don't like them. Be able to make them way bigger if you don't like them. Or if you do like them and want them to destroy the world. Or if you want to like open and close things without having to touch it. Y'all ever seen Matilda? If you had Matilda power, be able to move stuff around here and there and stuff. Or if you had the, what's that, what's that? Teleportation. One day, one minute you here, next minute you there. One minute you here, you get all ready, you ain't even got to get in the car or even step outside in the car. You just end up in the club, bam. Or you just end up at a friend's house, bam. Or when the dude is getting on your nerves and you're like, where you at? Where you at? It's okay. It's okay. You here? I got your location. Bam. And you just end up where they at. <laughs> now that, that superpower is lit. It is so lit. But I don't be that pressed. So I'd rather have the mind thinking superpower. I'd rather be able to read your mind know what you're thinking at the time that you're thinking it that way i don't even have to waste my time i can just go about my business and i know how to play my cards right see when you know how to read people's mind you know how to play your cards right you already know what they're thinking before anything happens so if you're in a room with somebody who's going to shrink something or like blow something up you already know it's time to go it's time to go or you already know that they, they about to dip they about to train they about to teleport out of this joint you already know. It's already in here. You you can see it before it happens. You already can tell what's going to happen before it's happening. I'm telling y'all, that mind reading stuff is it's big. It's huge. I mean, yeah, you could tell teleportation is cool, but when you already know that the person is thinking it was planning it before it happens, you can be way way ahead, 3 steps ahead, 2 2 steps ahead, 5 steps ahead. Hell, 10 has hell, 10 steps ahead. This food is good. I'm getting kind of full. Y'all see, this is why when I go out in restaurants and stuff, when I be going out in restaurants and stuff, I be, I don't even be getting that much because you see, look at all this I got in here and I'm full. I'm full already. Only took a couple bites. It wasn't just a couple bites. It was like a lot of bites, but... I'm a small eater. I'm not really there. Um, even though I do. Don't get me wrong. I eat a lot. I eat a lot. So the fact that I'm skinny don't even make no sense. Like, you see these, like, skinny bones? I eat a lot. So the fact that I'm skinny don't make no sense. It's just I have a fast metabolism. But I be eating a lot, but I be eating so little. A lot and so little. Like, I'm a big eater, but I'm a small eater. I order off the kids menu. I'm not even really expensive when I go in a restaurant. I'll be like, yeah, I want a salad. Yeah, I want some chicken tenders, you know. I don't ever be real live, like, too into getting anything else. Because I owe oh, some pasta. You know what I'm saying? I want some pasta. But I'm not really into, like, I'm not really a big, like, spender type of eater money. Like, 
I don't want the steak and caviar and bread and da 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 I want the chicken tenders. Give me something a little simple. You know what I'm saying? A salad is nice. With my tea. I love tea. I like wine. But I love me some tea. And some coffee. And then my go-to drinks. Okay, tea is my go-to drink. I usually get that in like a restaurant. Some wine. I barely get wine in restaurants. But when I do... I don't be knowing which ones to get because they don't be having like pink Moscato in there. So, really, I just be, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Tea is my way to go. I do know some restaurants, they don't have tea though. And I be like, that's weird. Y'all got a lot of wine, a lot of, you know, vodka and all that. So, I ain't got no tea. And then they be having like Coke products and stuff. And I be like, no tea? Mm, that's a problem with me. Y'all need to fix that. I need to fix that. Because I'm a tea type of person. Coffee type of person. Give me some coffee. But I haven't really been into much coffee lately. Like, I know I used to drink coffee, like, a lot, a lot. And, um, yeah. This video was about a whole bunch of like, yeah, whatever. It was going back and forth and stuff. I don't know. I just be wanting to talk to y'all. Like, talk to me. Comment down below. Let me know what you all think. Follow me on Instagram, EddieMoneyW16. Follow my Snapchat, PinkBunny107Me. Um, that's all my social media. Just, just follow me on all my social medias. And, alright y'all, I'm out.